Hey guys, so for today's bonus episode, I went back through the archives and pulled out one of my personal favorite videos. I actually listen to this video all the time. It's from Nora Hunt Lee, and she just talks through some really easy changes that you can make in your life that can have huge impact on your success in the arena. She talks about things from a mental perspective, and I think that sometimes our mental training is just as important as our physical training. So I hope that you guys get a lot out of this video. And for more tips on mental toughness and tips in the arena, make sure to check out BreakawayRoping.com. You're listening to the Breakaway Breakdown Podcast, where we bring you interviews with some of the top ropers in the country, news about what's going on in the fastest sport on dirt, training tips for you and your horses, and so much more. I'm your host, Casey Allen. Let's jump in. Hi, I'm Nora Huntley with Roping.com, and I w- as I was preparing for some of these videos, I wanted to share some tips and techniques for you to become more successful. So the first is focus. If you can begin each practice with focus and ask yourself, what is my goal for this practice? And practice on purpose. I think you're gonna get way more bang for your buck. Being prepared, having a plan for what you're gonna try to execute before you run every steer. I think that's hugely important. Also, using rituals that you create and practice at home in competitive situations. For example, goal setting, focus, visualization, positive self-talk or affirmations. You know, practice these things at home so that when you get to a competitive environment, you're very familiar with them and more confident. So for example, um, positive self-talk. When the negative self starts talking, questioning your ability, when you feel the the nerves come on, the butterflies show up, you know, to affirm to yourself that you're ready, you've got this. Use I statements, so to use an I statement, I've got this, I'm ready, open the chute, you know, I've, I've got this handled. Also, using habits created in the practice pen, your horsemanship, your body posture, your horse position, scoring, the speed of your swing, your handle, sitting up in your delivery, all things that you practice in the practice pen, use them in competitive situations as well. Having good energy, this includes thinking positive, surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people. These are choices that we make. The more we practice these choices, the more natural they become to us. Being aggressive, I often use this idea myself, especially when the butterflies show up, especially when I get nervous, say in a short round. I counter my nerves with being aggressive, swinging hard, getting really focused on executing my game plan. Learning to apply coping skills that a sports psychology consultant can share with you that you can learn in personal development books to counter negativity, nervousness, and unhelpful thinking. If you practice these skills, you'll get better at them. They'll, they'll happen, your response will be more natural by using and applying coping skills. Here's my favorite, expecting good things to happen. When you fill out that entry ticket, expect something good to happen you know, go into this situation knowing and anticipating that you're going to make a personal best performance, that you're going to come out on top, that you're going to reach your personal process goals. Hang around with good people. Hang around with winners. Hang around with people that are positive. That's going to hold you accountable to think positive. You're going to feel better as a result, and that positive energy is going to be exchanged nicely in those types of relationships. Here's another. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. I really think having faith and surrendering the outcome is a big deal. If I've done all my homework at home, I've practiced my mental toughness strategies, my work ethic is strong, and I've put in the physical practice, I've conditioned my animals, I've taken into an account uh, my nutrition, my conditioning, my hydration. Now I'm going to turn it over to something 
bigger than myself. Having faith, trusting, having fun, not being tied to an outcome has helped me be way more successful. Being accountable, reliable, responsible for our thoughts, our feelings, and our behavior. Just remember, somebody is always watching you. They're always watching me, and I am far from perfect. I've made millions of mistakes, but I think it's really important to be a positive role model for others because we're being watched all the time. Balance being focused and being aggressive. I think that's a real key thing. It's helped me achieve a lot of um, different goals in my life. I hope you enjoy some of these tips and techniques. I hope you'll stay tuned for more information. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these tips today. Make sure to check out breakawayroping.com for more information like this, more roping tips, and we even just dropped a new fitness series, which I am so excited about. I'll see you guys next week for our full episode. I cannot wait to share the guests with you. Have a great week.